Hi folks, Dr. Robert Barrington here with some more nutrition advice. Now, this is going to be a video that uh, is going to centre on uses of lecithin. Uh, and in particular, I wanted to talk about the cognitive effects of using lecithin. Um, for those of you who don't know, lecithin um, is a... Um, it's a supplement that is made from uh, various sources, but mainly made from soya beans. Uh, and lecithin is actually a collection of um, glycophospholipids um, that occur naturally in plants uh, and animals. Uh, and they're in our, all of our cell membranes contain uh, lecithin, contain various uh, glycophospholipids. Now, the glycophospholipids in lecithin um, vary in their ratios depending on how it's manufactured and where it comes from. Uh, but some of the glycophospholipids are phosphatidylcholine, phosphatidyl, phosphatidyl anisotol, phosphatidyl serine, um, phosphatic, phosphatatic acid, um, and also we've got phosphatidyl, phosphatidyl ethanol amine as well. They're the main uh, glycophospholipids uh, in lecithin, um, and their ratios vary depending on, like I say, exactly how the supplement is manufactured. Um, lecithin. Um, is an interesting um, substance because the glycophospholipids have um, a very unique chemical um, um, st structure which allows them to be um, both water and lipid soluble uh, and this makes them very useful for the food industry um, because they are used for example as emulsifiers they can take um, two um, liquids that can't um, mix so a fatty liquid and, a, and a, a, an aqueous liquid and if you add lecithin there can be uh, you can create an emulsion so that the uh, the texture of the of, of the of the ingredients changes so lecithin is quite often used as a food ingredient as well um, we, like I say, all cells have um, these um, glycophospholipids in them. Uh, lecithin is a, a, a naturally occurring um, substance and you can buy it as a supplement, um, which is generally created, for, like I say, from soybeans. Now, lecithin has a number of uses, a number of nutritional uses. It's one of those kind of superfoods that's used and it's been used for many, many years, many decades. Nutritionists have been interested in lecithin. Um, it's a very cheap supplement. It's very widely available. Most, most health food stores will sell lecithin. Um, uh, and its cheapness and wide, uh, you know, uh, its, its availability make it very useful uh, as a nutritional supplement. Um, one of the things you can take lecithin for is to improve the digestion of lipids and improve the metabolism of lipids uh, in your body. Lecithin is used uh, by the body to help emulsify fats in the gastrointestinal tract. It can help the absorption of fats and it can also help the distribution uh, of, of lipids around your body. If you, for example, have metabolic syndrome, lecithin could be a very useful supplement to help remove some of the fatty deposits from your liver. But lecithin has some very unique uh, effects on the, um, the central nervous system. Uh, and one of the most well-known uh, effects is um, uh, the effect that it has on the production of choline, uh, acetylcholine in the brain. Now, acetylcholine uh, is one of the neurotransmitters in the brain that is considered a stimulatory neurotransmitter. Uh, it's involved in uh, the formation of memories. And acetylcholine levels uh, fall uh, in Alzheimer's disease, for example. Uh, and so uh, th this is one of the... Um, you know, one of the suggestions is that the reasons that the uh, that you get memory loss with uh, with uh, Alzheimer's disease is because of this destruction of the neurons that produce acetylcholine. So it's been well researched that lecithin uh, is a cognitive um, a, a cognitive therapy for uh, poor memory, uh, and uh, taking lecithin can actually improve your memory and it can improve the production of acetylcholine uh, in your brain. Uh, and this brings me on to what I really wanted to talk about, which was um, the mood elevating effects of lecithin. Now, this isn't really widely talked about uh, and it's not widely discussed and it hasn't really been widely researched. But there is some evidence that uh, lecithin uh, may have um, cognitive effects on mood. Uh, and this may relate to um, the ability to raise acetylcholine levels. Um, other supplements that raise acetylcholine in the brain have also shown to have these antidepressant and anti-anxiety effects. Uh, and lecithin may work through that mechanism. But there are other... Um, it, it, it's generally the, the, the phosphatidylcholine that is converted to acetylcholine in the brain. But there are other glycophospholipids in uh, lecithin that may have beneficial effects. Uh, and although it's present in much lower quantities than phosphatidylcholine, phosphatidylserine is also present in lecithin. And phosphatidylserine uh, has been shown to have uh, effects on 
uh, is as an anti-stress compound. In other words, it can lower uh, cortisol levels. Now, there was an interesting study that was done, and I will put the link to this study in the comments box below this video so that you can have a read of it. It was quite an interesting study, and it took um, a phosphat uh, it took a lecithin complex which contained um, phosphat phosphatidic acid and uh, phosphatidylserine, and um, it gave this for three weeks to a group of um, otherwise healthy uh, individuals. And what the researchers found is that the 400 milligram dose of this, uh, com of this complex of, of lecithin um, was able to uh, significantly decrease um, the circulating stress levels of these individuals, uh, which would indicate that this lecithin uh, complex was having some kind of anti-stress effect. Um, and the, the theory uh, put forward by the researchers was that it was, that it was affecting the, um, uh, the hypothalamus, uh, ac the axis that centers on the hypothalamus, where uh, you get a release of stress hormones. And, and it, was, it was thought that this compound, you know, maybe uh, decreasing the uh, release of these stress hormones in the brain but what else they found what, what the other finding that they that they became apparent was that uh, the subjects that were taking the um the lecithin also had uh, improvements in mood and in particular what they measured was the they measured the anxiety uh, and the distress of the uh, of this of the subjects now there's a certain amount of subjectivity in this but they did find correlations for example between the uh, subjects that uh, were taking the supplements the 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 levels of stress hormones that they had and the uh, the levels of, of of anxiety that they were experiencing and they found that as this obviously as the stress levels were reducing in those that were taking the supplement they were also getting a decrease in anxiety so what's the purpose of this video then that's a very interesting um you know it's a very interesting uh, study but what what's the um the, the purpose of this video what's the met take home message um well really i'm just trying to explore compounds nutrients that may be able to help those people with mood disorders and um, there are a lot of um, um compounds of supplements that are frequently mentioned when it's uh, you know when we're referring to mood disorders l, l tryptophan for example l theanine they come up time and time again there's many many uh, videos on youtube there's much information on the internet uh, and sometimes you know people can be helped by supplements that aren't commonly talked about and i just thought this was um, worth mentioning because you never know it might help um, somebody um, who has got anxiety or depression somebody who hasn't heard of lessy thin uh, wasn't aware that it was actually something that could be taken to improve mood um, and you know you don't have to take a lot of this what the what was interesting about the study was that um, the, the the supplement was actually effective at the lowest dose that it was given the uh, it was given at 400 uh, milligrams 600 milligrams and 800 milligrams and the 600 and 800 milligram dose didn't have an effect it was the lower dose um, that had an effect and, and that's something else that's worth mentioning um, quite often people who message me uh, after they've seen my videos or you know who, who email me through my website uh, they quite often uh, it seem to think that taking more of a supplement is a good thing and, and many times in, in studies the, the lowest dose or lower doses have actually shown to be more effective than higher doses um, many chem many chemicals and many phytochemicals and many nutrients have biphasic responses so they can have a, a particular effect at one dose and they could have the opposite effect at a higher dose flavonoids for example have been shown to have biphasic effects for their anti-cancer effects so there are optimal doses of these supplements and more is not always better and in the case of lecithin it might be that a small amount of lecithin uh, regularly uh, which would be you know a very inconsequential cost uh, may actually be uh, a beneficial supplement. I've talked about um, phosphatidylserine before uh, and its anti-cortisol effects, its anti-stress effects, and it may well have been that because this um, complex contained um, um, phosphatidylserine, that this was actually the compound that was having the effect. So uh, just a reminder and a, a shout out there to phosphatidylserine again, because again, it's a, t a supplement that's not often talked about. Uh, phosphatidylserine is a very good anti-stress compound it's very good at reducing cortisol levels and as uh, you know if those people have been watching my videos recent uh, uh, you know regularly will know uh, stress cortisol uh, the cortisol related compounds the glucocorticoids these are the compounds that can be particularly damaging to the brain uh, when they're released in high amounts over chronic um, periods um, cortisol is very damaging it's uh, it can cause all sorts of trouble in the brain uh, and there's actually uh, evidence that if you're stressed in the in, you know in the long term 
you can actually have atrophy of the brain so your brain actually starts to shrink uh, and phosphatidylserine appears to be one of those compounds that's actually very protective of the brain in that way because it can help lower the cortisol levels to more physiologically normal uh, you know ranges we, we need cortisol it's it's a very important hormone it's it's required for normal physiology but it's this elevated amount of cortisol for long periods of time where you have um, you know the the, the the levels are just simply too high uh, they start to cause physiological changes and this is where mood disorders depression anxiety uh, develop from they're very difficult to reverse once they occur which is why you need to um, stay on top of your nutrition you need to eat well uh, and you need to make sure you've got a healthy diet constantly even in those times where you're feeling well you still need to take your high quality diet to protect yourself for when the stress levels build up um, if you can build up your resistance in the times when you feel good uh, you're going to have a much higher reserve for those times when you start to feel stressed and that will help you protect you from developing those chronic um, damaging mood disorders so lecithin a supplement that's worth trying uh, it has many other health effects as well it's, a, it's one of those super supplements you can take every day you don't need a lot of it it's very cheap it's very widely available so it's one thing that um, you know if you haven't heard of it before maybe worth trying so i hope that was interesting uh, as always eat well stay healthy and protect yourself and i'll see you soon for another video Take care.